What's going on guys, this is Kazi. Welcome back to another epic video. And based on your suggestion, we're gonna be doing a look from Money Heist, something that I've been meaning to do for a very long time. So I'm so excited. And also, if you guys have any suggestions, do me a favor, drop a comment below, let us know so we can get to it right away. This look is perfect for music videos and narratives. And let's just go ahead and rate this. Remember, I wanted to do this rating system long time ago when I put out Netflix's dark look, and then I just never got a chance to get around it. So let's do this now. In versatility, I would give it about a four. Because it's such a niche, such a stylized look, it's not very versatile. In terms of style, I will give it about a nine because I feel like it's just so pushed and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's right up my alley. In terms of longevity, I will give it about a five because I put this in the same category as Transformers where uh, they don't necessarily age well. So this look is done in Asus. That's the color science that we're going to be using, but I will not go through it. If you want to learn more, I have a one hour long dedicated training that is absolutely free. Link is down below. Once you're done watching that training, you'll be ready to grade your first professional project from start to finish inside ACES. And on that note, if you're enjoying the content, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. Make sure you're following us on Instagram and let's roll the intro. All right, let's get this party started. Before we even read the scopes, let's go in here. Type in palette and drop this on and see what we got going on. So this gets to tell us a lot. Green and orange to the freaking max, right? Like, I mean, we can see that. But if you look at the scopes, that's not necessarily the story because there's barely any green or there's not really any cyan. We can see that things are living in these quadrants and that makes the entire image warm. OK, obviously, we got these practicals in the image that are living in here and in here. And then the rest has like this crazy green, sickly look. And obviously it was lit that way. So they created that color contrast on set, but that's not the luxury that we will have. We will try to create that with whatever we got when we get to our shot. So that's first thing to analyze, right? Now, what I want to do is I want to show you guys something new that you haven't seen on this channel before, which is reverse engineering this shot. So let's try to get it into sort of like a Rec. 7 or 9 space, and then we will have a better understanding of like how the colorist got here. So what do I see? I see tons of green. So even if I hover over on the skin, you can see it on the scopes right here where the skin indicator is to where the skin is actually sitting. It literally is just like pure yellowish green. So we got to get that out. So I'm going to start off with my gamma and I'm just going to sort of cancel this out. OK, so let's do that. And I'm also looking at this and this should look gray. So I'm just going in that direction. And even if you look at my vector scope now, it's right in the middle. And that gets to tell us that we're really getting a good balance out of our image. OK, so genuinely look at the skin before and after world of a difference okay we literally got it in the ballpark and now another thing that we can do is just go under our um log controls and i'm going to go under my shadow and just make sure that the black or the red is not lifted than these other colors so we're just going to bring it down and just kind of neutralize this right so like they're all in the same realm and now it's looking way cleaner and better and one more thing we're going to do, I'm going to go back into my primaries. I'm going to take my gamma. I'm going to lift it up. So like now we have, we can see more, right? Um, and go back in my log wheels and maybe bring this down a little bit. So we still have nice detail, uh, but still really punchy blacks. So if I were to look at this, it's still graded, but this would be close to what the Rec. 709 should be, quote, end quote. Obviously, that's not the case because they're lit it with these lights. But this is just to give you an idea. Um, if it was a well-balanced image, we would start here and then we had to create this look. So that's pretty interesting to when you dissect your grade like this and just like really see the possibilities of like 
where somebody started and then where they ended up and the choices that they had to make. Okay, very, very important. And obviously, these choices were made based on the story that they're trying to tell. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is reset this, obviously, and now go back to our shot. So this is our shot way, way, way off uh, to what we are trying to create. So first of all, let's get that out of the way. And uh, this will be my hero frame. I'm just going to park it somewhere around here. And I think that is a good start. And uh, we're working in ASUS. That's why you see these. So I'm in a group clip right now. So this is uh, my ASUS uh, being transferred everything to the right color space. So we're in Rec. 709. Uh, but our color science on this project is using ASUS CCT. And you will see the magic of ASUS, how easy we will be able to create this look by only using three nodes. That is something that cannot be done unless you're working in ASUS. That is the true power of it. And if you want to learn more about that, I'm not going to be taking you through my proper uh, ASUS transform and everything here. But if you want to learn more, link is down below. I have an absolutely one hour long free training. So if you want to check that out, link is down below. That said, let's just jump right in. So like I said, this is going to be the easiest grade you've ever seen. Three nodes. The first one is going to be my primaries. The second node is going to be my look. And the third one is going to be my secondaries. And that's it. It's going to be that easy. So I'm going to work in this mode right here. So we got our reference on the right. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it better, because obviously we're only using three nodes, so it doesn't even really matter. And let's make this bigger. So this is this is better. OK, so now we can see everything. So first thing I'm looking at my scopes, we're way off. So first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go under my HDR wheels. I'm going to go under my global offset and I'm going to try to bring this down as close as possible to where my reference is, even something like that. And then once I come to this point right here, all I want to do is I want to go under my primaries, go back in here. And what do we see? We see that the contrast is extremely high. And that's what we need to create. So before we even do that, I want to go under my log wheels. I want to take my shadows and I want to bring them down. OK, I want to bring them down uh, something like this. So we're already getting in that sweet spot. And now I'm going to go back and look at what else do we need to do? We need to pump a lot of contrast. So I'm going to go under my contrast slider and start cranking it like really push it. OK, so something. Something like this looks pretty good. And just by couple of changes, look the kind of information and image we were about to pull. And just look at it. Like now, by looking at the scopes, like right here, you can't even tell the difference between the two. OK, so we're already off to an absolutely stunning start. If I go back and forth between these two, especially when it comes to contrast and our overall exposure, it feels like we're in the same world. And that's what we're trying to do, right? Like even when you saw the breakdown in the beginning, it started here and led into that. Like this is a psycho guy who's painting her and holding her captive. And it's sort of like the same narrative, right? So that's what we have running in the back of our head when we're creating uh, this look. Like it needs to be like absolutely one to one. They're in the same place. Now let's go into our look node. So what do we see? Majority, the bulk of our image has this crazy green and uh, that's it. Then we want to make sure that our black points, our anchors are clean on the bottom. The top doesn't even matter because it has a lot of this yellow and green going on. All we need to worry about is our clean black points and uh, tons of green overall in the image. We should be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under my gamma and I'm going to start pushing that green into my image. OK. I'm like going for it and like I'm literally seeing this to that, right? Like I'm really, really going for it. And then what I'm going to do is I still want to keep my top and just a bit cleaner, not too much because I still see a lot of green in there too, like even right here, right? So if I punch in and show you this, there's still a lot of green here. See? So I mean, I want to kind of keep that too, but still a little less than where I am. I feel like there's way too much in there right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under my gain. And I'm going to reverse that. So just reverse it a little bit, something like that. So even something like that. 
and uh, then keep pushing that green maybe a little bit more, right? Like just overall, I'm looking at the two images and it's like, okay, where are we? What do we need? So even something like that, because now if we see this to that, we're getting in a really, really close world, right? I'm going to push it a bit more. So I'm just feeling it out. That's why I'm kind of quiet. I'm just like really, really feeling it out and pushing it. I think maybe we've gone too far come back a little, something like that. And now once again, we just wanna make sure that our whites are looking good. So the whites do look good right here. And then here it's a little green and that's okay because we got tons of green right here. So overall, this is looking good. Now what's happening on our blacks? We wanna make sure that our blacks are really, really clean and they're not contaminated with a lot of green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under my log wheels and uh, I'm gonna start making sure that my black points are just looking really, really crisp. So now let's pull back. And if I go between the two, I think we can still clean them up a little bit. So even something like that. And now let's go back and forth. So now my blacks are looking way better. Like I'm looking at her hair and I'm looking at it there and it's just looking really, really good. So we're looking good there. Now what do we need to do? Now we're gonna go under our secondaries. We're gonna go into our curves. We're gonna start with hue versus hue. And I'm gonna click right here. And then I'm gonna go back in this mode. And all I'm gonna do is start moving this over so we get that, we get rid of this red and we go into that color that we have right here. So almost like think of it like this light is coming through and it's hitting this area right here. And I feel like we're already there. If I do before and after, we're already there. Maybe bring some of that red back, not too much. So even something like that is looking really, really realistic. And now another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to punch in here. I'm going to go under hue versus luminance right there. I'm going to click on this red and I'm going to pull back, go back in this mode. And now all I'm going to do is just like really make this red bleed, like just bring it down. So it's really, really close to what we got going on here. So that's obviously doing the trick. It's doing a really, really good job. Okay. So look at all the colors here, right? Look at these greens that are right here. Look at this right here. That's right there. Look at this light. Over here, look at the red to the red and like look at the difference that we made and how easy it was. Even if we look at the skin, like look at the skin to that skin, it's very, very close. Okay. And if we go to this angle right here and switch between the two and the beautiful thing about what we just created is that everything sticks because there are no qualifiers. So nothing is breaking. Like look at this light and all the things that we did. And that's also the beauty of Asus. If I play it through, like look, nothing is cracking. There is no artifacting going on. If I punch in here and play it through, there's absolutely zero artifacting. That's the power of Asus. And that is the power of the way I built this grade. All right. So now the last thing that I would do that's just kind of bugging the crap out of me is how much green we just put in in our midtones, if you will. So I'm going to go back in here in my log wheels, midtones, and I'm just going to try to subtract some of that, like not too much, but I want to take some of that out. Even somewhere around here. So if I do before and then do after. Another cool thing that it does is that Look at right here. If I go before and after, it cleans this up and it just makes it a bit more realistic, like the, the color of wood is coming back. So it's doing a little bit of that. Now, how far we can push it? Let's try it. So if I keep going here and keep it somewhere around here and now go back. And if I kill this completely and then bring it back, So personally, I'm liking it, right? Because it is, like I said, really bringing 
this information back and giving us true colors. And another thing that I like about it is that just look at this right here to like this right here, how close we are. So those changes I'm absolutely loving. The thing that I'm not loving is that by adding this much more um, magenta blue into our image, we like really accentuated the red here. So if I delete this and look at this right here, just keep your eyes right here to like after. So let's try to pull that back a little bit. So I'm gonna go under uh, hue versus saturation and I'm gonna click right here. Let's go right there. And you know what, hue satur before we try the hue saturation, let's just try this. So I'm gonna click right here, go back here, and now try to pull this down just a little bit, not too much. So let's pull it down more. Let's pull it up a little bit. So even something like this, I think that just did the trick. So that really made it believable. And now if we go back and forth between the two, just look at this. This is so accurate. I feel like this is as close as it's gonna get and like how easy it was for us to get there. All right, so now let's kill everything, bring this up and see where we started to where we ended up. Started with our exposure and just getting everything in the right place. You can see the scopes right here, how close we got. And then uh, we use our lift cam again and our log wheels to just to get the overall look down and then use our secondaries uh, with HSL curves to just swing some of these hues to really make the entire image believable. And uh, let's check out the final look in full screen. My soul is free again. I can breathe again. So hopefully this tutorial has done two things to you. One, got you really intrigued about ASUS. And if that's the case, then link is down below. Check out the free training. You will learn everything that you need to know to get started with ASUS. And number two, you don't always have to rely on really complicated note trees to get extreme looks like this. And if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, then do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel for more awesomeness, and I will see you guys in the next video.